Amazon is unveiling a new Alexa feature that allows the voices of the dead to read you sweet little bedtime stories. I'm not even really kidding here. So the voice assistant will have the ability to speak in the same way as people who have passed away, requiring only a minute of recorded audio in order to construct a whole voice. So Charlie, as you heard, he would be reading bedtime stories to me. If one day he's no longer with us, which eventually that that will be the case. No, I would not be doing that. But what I'm curious about is what whether other people would actually be interested in their dead loved ones speaking to them after they've you know, obviously after they've passed. Now in a recent presentation, Amazon showcased their new Alexa feature, which allows the home speaker to project the voices of those who have passed away using AI technology. Let's take a look at that presentation. Alexa, can grandma finish reading me The Wizard of Oz? Okay, but how about my courage? Ask the lion anxiously. You have plenty of courage, I am sure, answered Oz. All you need is confidence in yourself. Ida, what do you think about this? Is this a feature that you're interested in or do you find this creepy? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I mean, you know, like I, that's like asking me, hey, do you want to suffer every night? <laughs> you want to relive the pain of losing your uncle, your grandmother, you know, like I. I, I'm not crazy about the fact that they used a little black boy for the to promote this. Like it's just, you know, it's just very, it's just a lot of, it's, come on, bro. No, like, Ida, they're super inclusive. That's why they did it. They're so inclusive. <laughs> like that's why they do it. Like it's, I mean, it's not just Amazon. I see it happening with so many companies. Like when the protests were happening in the summer of 2020. Um, you know, the supportive signs for BLM were everywhere. Uh, various companies were putting it in their windows. Uh, I think you said it on the show once. Uh, it's really about, you know, discouraging people from breaking their windows or something. But like, yeah, no, I, I'm not surprised that they used a black kid in, in the in the ad. But I don't know, like I'm of two minds of this, right? Because on one hand, I know I wouldn't want it. You know, sometimes when I come across videos of Michael Brooks, like I have a hard time. Um, even though his video content was incredible, it may, it also makes me super, super sad. So I don't know if it's really gonna fulfill the purposes Amazon thinks it will fulfill, but not everyone's the same. I think some people might actually feel some comfort. But at the end of the day, the person who passed has passed. They're, they're no longer with us and I don't know. I don't know if this would actually help people cope. You know, uh, when I watched that movie, Her, um, and I, it, you know, it's this continuously feeding this thing about this virtual existence that will never give you a hug, that will never materialize into anything other than that. I think it it, it could be hurtful to people and their the process of healing and dealing with grief and moving forward. I mean, every every you know, it's your prerogative. If that's something that that works for you, I personally don't think that emotionally I could deal with that in terms of what it means because it's it's no different than looking at a video now or a picture, knowing that I can't hug my grandmother or or whatever. But I just think it's sometimes those types of things are they are. They take advantage of people in grief, you know, and just yet another way to make money off of people's grief. And I think it, I don't know that I could, can stand for something like that. It's sad. Yeah, I think it's like part of this escapism industry, right? Where it's trying to help people cope with not even cope, but kind of like exist in denial about certain parts of life that are inevitable that we all go through. I think about it all the time actually, like, you know, with my parents getting older, um, 
thinking about how eventually they're no longer gonna be in my life. And that's really, really hard to think about, but you can't help it. As they get older and they get sicker, you, you it's right in front of you and you have to really cherish every moment that you have with them. Um, but that's also, in my opinion, what makes life special, right? When you know that it's not finite, like you're not gonna be around forever. The people around you are not gonna be around forever. And it helps me at least savor the moments that I have with them and really appreciate it. Um, and like the tough times in your life help you grow as a person. So while losing someone you love is really difficult, again, it is part of life. It does eventually when you can get past it. It, it never gets easier. You still think about them all the time and you wish they were here. But again, it's part of life, it's part of human development to like go through these tough times. Um, because again, it helps you evaluate the present a little better than you would if you just constantly engage in escapism. I'm getting real deep here, sorry. Yeah, no, I mean, but I agree. And, you know, I don't know, like, is it comforting for some little kids to hear some stories read in their grandparents' voice? Um, sure. Uh, you know, I can't speak on the experience of everyone, I can only speak on, on my own. Uh, but I, I just think that you know it's hard to respect these acts sometimes because you know they don't come from a place of hey we want to be healing to the people. Right. It's just another like, like, there's just another way to make money, and so yeah, that's you know, a really good point. Yeah, it's not about helping people; it's about profit. It's about uh, providing or or coming out with a product that could increase profits, right? And I think that's what's happening here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not I'm not really into AI. I'm not liking what a, what they're doing with this AI stuff. So yeah. far, not so good. You know what, I, and I would say like, if I heard about this and I said, you know what, they, whatever company hired a group of psychiatrists, they did a lot of research and they found that certain things could be helpful in the development of children who have lost grandparents. And because of that reason, we've come forward with something that with, but it just, it never, it's never that. Like I wanna know what the psychological effects of something like this are on people. Although we can speculate, of course, but I'm sure that there's data that says, this AI stuff is harmful to people. Like you said, living in, you know, those shooters, they're living in fantasy land. A lot of those kids that play these games or are, are vi visiting these websites or whatever, it is an extension of a lot of the stuff that they have mental illness and they, they're now all together there. They think, hey, this is, this is not real. Like, you know, where do, where do we draw the line? Like, how do we, you know, provide, especially for brains that are not fully developed? Yeah, because it's a great that's point. What you, you know, that's what you see in this. Add. It's not like a 45 year old man having, you know, his mom re reading or talking to him. This is, these are children. Like, what effect does this have on develop, developing minds? Yeah, that's a really good point. And we don't know, uh, but we're about to find out, unfortunately. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.